So during this morning, we were presenting the main results of uh, our coordination and support action. We also were receiving the pitch from the European Commission on what is coming. And until now, we were running two panels uh, where we were discussing with the main players of the I4MS ecosystem on how was this uh, time of implementing these different innovation actions for digital transformation of manufacturing SMEs. And then the last uh, panel was about European DIHs and the opportunities for them. Maybe some conclusions until now that we were collecting is, uh, as I was mentioning in the panel, uh, the importance to, to achieve an, uh, a broader uptake of these digital technologies in Europe. This is also the reason why we are in Budapest today. At I4MS, we did an important effort to be present in what we call those underrepresented regions, so regions that were not really on the map of I4MS before. And then, thanks to this kind of dissemination, local events, and brokering, right, between more mature entities and less mature, we are changing things. So um, that was one of the topics. Uh, we were also discussing a lot about skills, right? This is when we talk to the beneficiaries on which are their main challenges for uptaking. Uh, these digital solutions. Of course, they might talk about uh, funding, knowledge, but in m almost all the cases, the skills is one problem. And it's one problem because once they decide to adopt those digital solutions, they do not find the right uh, workforce inside or even outside. They go to market and they don't find right people prepared for them. So we were commenting with our partners from Mobile World Capital, okay, our partners experts on this aspect, which are the recommendations to be followed. We also had the participation of an EFRA representative with whom we were talking about the future of the manufacturing industry in Europe, right? We are always talking about this new industry 4.0 that will be more sustainable, more resilient, more human-centric. But it's important that we have some supporting programs. So Cornelia from EFRA was commenting about Made in Europe, okay, and the mechanism that will be there for supporting this challenge of being more digital but also more sustainable. So I think this is a small wrap-up until now of some of the topics that were mentioned. On parallel, we are always presenting funding opportunities to the companies that are here today with us. So there is an area where innovation actions and companies, they can meet and discuss possibilities for collaboration. And in the following sessions, we will elaborate a little bit more on that. So we will try to wrap up and to summarize all these insights in the I4MS community. So please join us and you can follow some results if you were not lucky enough to be here with us.